There's been some data at this meeting and at other meetings regarding venetoclax. It was initially used for relapse refractory multiple myeloma, and in the refractory uh, setting, uh, as a single agent in patients that had the 1114 translocation, it showed a response rate of about 40%. So that was very encouraging data. Uh, and then there were other trials where they used it together with dexamethasone or bortezomib and dexamethasone, showing an ev even better response rate. More recently, in an earlier line of patients, in the one to three prior lines of therapy, venetoclax was combined with bortezomib and dexamethasone and also showed an extremely high response rate. This is all comers, not just 1114 patients. Um, but also an increased risk of infections and more deaths in the patients that receive triple therapy with venetoclax, bortezomib, and dex versus bortezomib and dexamethasone. In fact, it was a twofold higher risk of death in the, the patients receiving triplet therapy. That has been alarming for a lot of us. However, if we look at subsets and we look at specifically the patients that had the 1114 translocation, they actually continued to do quite well. And the deaths were, were not increased in that population of patients. We presented an abstract um, by one of my fellows uh, here at this meeting, looking back at about 40 patients that we treated at UCSF. And 17 of these patients were treated with um, venetoclax with or without dexamethasone or bortezomib who had the 1114 translocation. And in fact, our response rate was 71%. And we had no significant deaths and, and no infections. So I do think that venetoclax actually has, um, has room for use in multiple myeloma, but specifically I think we have to target the 1114 translocation patients. It may be that it's safe to give in other patients too. We just have to figure out who else other than the 1114 are um, eligible for this therapy and also what's the best dosing of the medication in those patients. But for right now, I think it's limited to 1114 and we have to see what further data shows before we start using it off protocol.